In this lesson, I'd like to show you how you can play a samba uh, with your brushes. So you will need a pair of brushes if you don't already. You'll need a drum kit if you don't already. Um, and you'll need to know the samba foot pattern. So uh, the sort of standard samba foot pattern on the drum kit sort of goes between pedal hi-hat and bass drum, and it sounds like this. One and two and three and four and... Okay, so that foot pattern uh, will remain constant throughout all the exercises that we do. And the other thing that remains constant is the sticking. What we're going to do is play all of the exercises on the snare drum uh, with a, an alternating sticking, which means right, left, right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right, left, right. I will use right hand lead in this example though. And so the first thing we're, we're going to do is combine the sticking, that is with no accents at all, and just the regular alternating sticking, with the samba foot pattern. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so the, the following exercises, they're basically all based on that. What we just do is add accents to certain notes uh, to change the feel and to give us the, the different variations on the samba. So exercise one, what I'll do is I'll play just the snare drum part, the accented snare drum part, and then I'll add, add in the bass drum part again. Here we go. One and two and three and four and... Okay, exercise two, well, what we basically do is flip the accents around. So the accents that I was playing there, if you're familiar with samba, it was a uh, well, sort of a, what you call a 3-2 clave sound. It's basically the, the bossa nova clave sound interpreted as accents on the snare. And what we do is we swap the bars around now. So we play the second bar first and the first bar second. We basically just start the beat at a different point. Here we go. One and two and three and four and... Okay, so let me now combine those two in a few different ways and I'll bring the tempo uh, up to a proper samba tempo to show you what that sounds like. Okay, the next example uh, uses a rhythm called the Partido Alto. Now, Partido Alto is a, a different kind of Brazilian rhythm, and we're going to interpret the Partido Alto rhythm on the snare drum with those accents. So everything else the same, uh, feet part, sticking is the same, we're just going to change where the accents fall. So same thing, I will play the snare drum part first, then add the feet back in. One and two and three and four and... Now what I'm going to do is play a reverse partido alto. So it's again the same rhythm, we're just starting it at a different point. 
One and two and three and four and. Okay, now Petita Alto uh, Samba sounds really cool when you bring the tempo up. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson on how to play a samba with your brushes. Practice hard and I'll see you on the next lesson.